Good morning children. Today we'll continue with the chapter areas of parallelogram and triangles. And uh, we'll discuss today the theorem number 9.1 from NCERT. The statement of the theorem is parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. All right. So first of all, we'll see how the diagram looks for this particular theorem. So we have the parallelogram here, ABEF and ABCD, which is on the same base AB. If you look closer, the base is same, which is AB and between the same parallels CF. So these are two parallelograms, which is on the same base AB and between the same parallels CF. And we need to prove the area of parallelogram AB EF is equals to area of AB CD. All right. So the shaded part is already given here. So no need to shade here. Okay. So let's move into the proof part. First of all, by looking at this figure, we have got two triangles. The first triangle is BEC, this one. Okay, this is the first triangle. This region is the first triangle. And the second triangle is AFD. These two triangles can be proved congruent by ASA congruence criterion. So the proof requires three things. The first angle we'll see here which all angles are equal and which side is equal here. So by looking at this figure we have BC equals to AD. BC equals to AD. This side equals to this side because in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal. The second is BCE equals to ADF which is a corresponding angle and that is completely the property of parallel lines and BEC equals to AFD. You take the screenshot of this particular diagram and then you can refer to the criterions or the, uh, the parameters which we are taking for the proofs. Okay, so BEC, this angle equals to this angle right and this angle equals to this angle BEC equals to AFD ADF sorry ADF BEC equals to ADF and BEC equals to AFD BEC equals to AFD. So if you consider these two as a parallel uh, parallel lines, AF is parallel to BE and CF is a transversal. So in that case, this angle is equals to this angle. And if you consider AD as parallel to AD as parallel to BC, then this angle equals to this angle as the corresponding angles. Okay, the positions are same here. So by ASA criterion, the triangles are congruent. Remember, if two triangles are congruent, then their areas are also equal. Okay, then their areas are also equal. Now in area of the parallelogram ABCD, in area of parallelogram ABCD, this parallelogram consists of two figures. One which I have shaded here, another is by default shaded with grey color, that is the trapezium ABED, this reason ABED. So in the whole parallelogram we have two figures, number one, number two. So if we add these two, you get the parallelogram ABCD. Now this particular addition of these two figures will give you the entire area, however the triangles one area is equals to triangle third area so we just replace one with three so what do we get area of parallelogram a b e f so this is how it is done a b e d plus b c e similarly a b e f 
is nothing but ABED plus ADF. But ADF area is equals to area of BCE. So hence we can say that area of parallelogram ABCD is equals to area of parallelogram ABEF. So this is how it is proved class. So this is the first theorem of the chapter. Based on this, we have exercise number 9.2. You can complete that exercise. And if you face any problem from that exercise, you can ask in the virtual class. That's all from today. Thank you.